Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm gonna try to upgrade my Xbox One X to an M.2 SSD. I'm not entirely sure which one NGFF or NVMe will work with this console, if any at all. And to get this done, we'll need a few tiny components. I'll put links to all the stuff in the description below. So in my Xbox One X disassembly video, I mentioned that the system board hasn't populated its other pads for an M.2 slot. By the way, I also have video on how to replace the thermal paste and pads and how to upgrade the console to an SSD drive. The links will be at the end of this video. So I was like, why not give it a try? If we solder all the missing components, then theoretically it should work, I guess. Alright, so I won't be showing you the disassembly process, you can go ahead and watch my dedicated video on that. So let's start with the slot. First we need to get rid of the LED free solder. To do that, I'm going to apply some flux and then add some leaded solder. And now we can remove the excess solder using a wick. Next, clean this area with urban alcohol. Apply some flux. Align the slot. And then solder down one end and then the other. If you don't have a hot air station, you can easily solder the slot with a soldering iron. Now we need to solder a standoff. I think it's a donor part from some M.2 enclosure. Once done, we can slide the drive into the slot and secure it with a screw. Looks great. So next we need to deal with six teeny tiny caps. I hate soldering tiny SMD components. I feel like a neurosurgeon or something. I think that's good enough. We're done with the side of the board and now we need to figure out how to power up the SSD. I believe we have a missing MOSFET over here. So let's see if the traces from the MOSFET source terminals go to the power pins on the M data slot. And yeah, we got continuity there. Now let's attach the power supply to the system board and check if we have any voltage on the drain pins. M2 SSDs require 3.3 volts and we got it. Unfortunately, I don't have any schematics, but I'm pretty sure we can use the same MOSFET that you can see over here. Technically, I could just solder a jumper wire between these pads, but let's do it the right way. 
Let's add some solder to these pads. Position the MOSFET and solder it down. To properly solder such components, you'll need a hot air station. Now let's clean up this area and see if it works. And as you can see, the power pins are getting the right voltage. Now let's install the SSD. There are two types of M.2 SSDs. NGFF, which is a SATA drive, just like this one, but an M.2 form factor. And super fast NVMe or PCI Express drives. I'm gonna try them both, so let's start with the NVMe drive. By the way, the console's chassis has a dedicated place for an M.2 SSD, which also acts as a heatsink. So just apply a generous amount of thermal putty on top of the drive. I recommend using Apsar New 6 Pro, the link will be down below. And finally, let's reassemble the console.